if you're new here, please make sure you subscribe because I am on the road to 150 subs and I make NBA content like this 2K and live every single day. Alright, so y'all probably wondering, what in the hell is Cedric Lewis doing on NBA Live? Why? Why? Because he passed, what, two episodes? He was on 2K. Now, there's no way I was serious about going to NBA Live, like I said in that video, as Kemba hits the mid-range. Well, I decided that I really don't want to play on my career in my league. I, I find it kind of boring. And if you I realized if you hit level 100 in NBA Live, you get a free 50 points to your new player. He automatically goes up to level 50. So that makes him an 86 overall. So I decided, if I can have Cedric automatically an 86 overall, I'm gonna put him in live. There's like no competition. There's no competition. By the way, I'm recording this during halftime of D-Wade's final game as I splash it. And it's pretty amazing. He's on triple double watch. He's got 9 points. I think 6 rebounds, 5 assists. And my boy Udonis Haslam is actually starting. He's got 8 points and 8 rebounds. It's amazing. We're getting slapped, but I don't care. We're not making the playoffs. We're going to possibly get a top 10 draft pick as Kemba Walker gets blocked. But, dude, Kemba is impo was impossible to guard in this game. Legit impossible. We combined for 98 points. Me and Kemba combined for oh, nearly 100 points. Insane as I'm getting the screen from Kelly Olynyk, who played like ass this game as my phone goes off. Thanks, NBA. I don't want your notifications. Uh, Hassan, give it to me. I'm rolling out. Before the green bean, I got 11 points already. I'm trying to bring this team back as the Hornets went on a major run in the beginning of the game. Hassan grabs the rebound, throws the outlet pass. I'm in the I'm already in the lane. There's no way I'm missing a layup, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what that's what I thought. That's what I thought. And um, when Dion Waiters comes in this game, first of all, hold up. Wait a minute. Let me just pop this contested three in the corner to take the lead. And guess what? They need a timeout. And um, when Deion Waiters came in this game, dude, oh, it was a GG. As you're going to see, this dude made three straight shots from that exact corner. Not, not corner, wing. He made three threes from that wing to keep this game in reach. As you see, we're down by two. Look who I'm looking for again. My boy Dion. Pop that, bud. Bang! Dion effing Waiters, dude. Splashing it all damn game once again. Third three. Bang gives us the two point lead with a minute left. He's got nine points already. Has yet to miss. Oh, you know what? He's going to add to that. Why don't I just get a layup? Make it 4 for 4. 11 points. Once again, giving us the lead. So, Dion off the bench is already going God mode. Um, Dwayne Wade commercial that I want to watch, but. Um, 43 to 43, I got subbed back in, and this is, this, yeah, it's okay. Now, the second quarter is where it was, it was close. We actually started pulling away in the second quarter, but come, um, third quarter, it was a GG, dude. It was all over at that point, as, who was that, Cody Zeller? Hassan could not guard Cody Zeller. I, I don't understand that. I don't understand how this dude, and that's a problem in NBA Live. If you don't, if you're wide open, and you don't get a green... It will miss nearly every single time. I was so mad. I checked my percentages and all that. If you do not get a green on a wide open shot, it will most likely miss. That is mad annoying. As I'm cutting in the paint, Tony Parker can't guard me. Tony Parker's too old to guard me. As I'm taunting him, damn. Dancing on him. We're down by two, though. I got Cody Zell on me. Dion giving him the ball. Give it back. I'm in the paint. No looking reverse layup. Yes. Yep, yep, that's okay. Yeah, we'll go with that live. I'm fine. I made the shot. It's a tie game. Give it to me. I'm wide open. This time, I actually made the shot, even though it wasn't a green. You see how close that was? I had the exact same release when I was wide open from the um, wing or the elbow, and I missed completely. Like, how? As I see D. Wade cutting in the paint, and he's going to get his second points of the game. He's got four. He did not have a good game at all. I tried feeding him. He did not have a good game. As Kemba hits that shot somehow. Like, how? This dude made the dumbest shots. He legit made the dumbest shots. In the third quarter, we could not shoot. We could not make any shot. Wide open, contested. Nothing was going in. Turnover after turnover. They went on nearly a 20-0 run. Because no one could shoot. 
I don't understand. We had to call a timeout. We're down by 15. We did not score in like four to five minutes as I got our first point in like four minutes. 17-0 run. 17-0 run. Are you kidding? Are you effing kidding? It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And this is the point where 19-2 to run, four minutes. Dion and I just put, put the backpack on. Dion and I just put the backpack on. Mainly me. I put the backpack on. But Dion helped as I'm hitting the contested three in Kemba Walker's face. That's 33 points. Seven three-pointers. More than half of my shots have been threes. James Johnson, no judicial. I'm wide open. That's a green beam. It's so nice when you get used to your actual release. And guess what? It's an eight-point game now, Charlotte. I just brought us back by nearly 20. As I'm getting the layup to go. I do have Luke Kennard's jump shot for both Cedric and Karan. So I don't have to get used to the thing. But here's the thing. When I play 2K and go to live, obviously my jump shot's completely off. As Hassan gives up a rebound and fouls Cody Zeller intentionally. Why would you do that? He screwed us over. Him and Kelly Olenek screwed us over in this game as Deion Waiters is wide open for three. He was the only one. Him and Josh Richardson are the only ones that helped me. Only ones. I love Giannis Haslam, but for some reason, he, he got minutes as Josh Richardson hit the corner three, giving us the one-point lead. Giannis Haslam got nearly like 20 minutes. Why? And for most of the fourth quarter, they let D-Wade play instead of red-hot Deion Waiters. Why? Why, why? why would you do that? Deion Waiters was red hot. He only missed like three or four shots in the game. Why wouldn't you play him in the fourth quarter? I don't understand that. I don't, but I'm trying my best to bring this team back. We're down by four. They're trying to double team me, but it's not working. Hassan got swatted, but Jay Ridge comes up with the rebound. I'm just going to pop the three. And Kemba's face. Even though the green bean went away, which is, I think is very stupid, I still got it to go. Jay Rich now gives it up to me. Mid range. Beast. Hitting the contested mid. Near five minutes left. 43 points. One point game. Now, give it back to me. I'm open. That's a three. That looked like a mid. I think my foot was on the line, but it counted as a three. I've already got 46 points. I have 10 made threes. I think I made 13 in this game. Ryan Anderson driving in the lane. The only good thing he did this game, he had seven points. And for some reason. In clutch time, he was playing shooting guard. Yeah. Yep, Ryan Anderson is playing shooting guard. As I'm getting the fading three to go. Making that three-point game with near 50 seconds left. But this is where just Kemba Walker went ridiculous. Look at this. Look at that. Look how. And I just, I tried my best. I tried so hard to bring this team back. We're down by three. I had back-to-back -back threes to make it a three-point game. Just for this stat. Another three. That was a two-point game. Can't do it. Not not enough. Not enough as Kemba kept hitting his free throws. As would make sense. And to hit his free throws. And we end up losing by six. Cedric Lewis loses his first game after dropping 57 points. Kemba had 41. I have 57 and Dion gave me 21. Ridiculous. If you enjoyed, sub if you're new. That's it for me. GG.